What's up everybody, Jason from Jason's Exotic Reptiles back at you with another video. In this video, we're gonna look at another new set of babies that just dropped, it is baby season, so these videos are coming at you hot and heavy. Let's dive into what this animal is and then we'll take a look at the babies. This guy here is the father of the litter we're gonna take a look at. He is a Hypo Fire Aztec. Really pretty looking guy, super high white sides. Check out the sides on this. And he's in full blue right now, so he's just about to shed. Awesome looking guy, awesome genetics. I did peek at the babies, I can't tell you I didn't because I was too excited. The girl who laid these are probably my favorite snake I have here. If somebody said, hey, you can only pick one snake of what you have, this girl may be the one that I grab because she's just, I don't know what it is. I bought her at a reptile show years and years ago. She was a little baby that fit in my hand. She's given me just plenty of awesome litters over the years always anticipating excellent litters for her. I think this is her fifth time laying and she's just an amazing animal. I love her, she's calm, her temperament's great and she gives great babies. But let's take one more look at the father here. Again, he is a hypo fire Aztec. So he has the fire, he has the hypo, he has the Aztec pattern. That fire is what's bringing those high white sides. I know there's been all kinds of people making special names for it. That's what fire does to animals for the most part. Uh, the Aztec pattern is not the most amazing example of an Aztec. I really wish he shed out because he is an amazing looking, brilliant, just high colored animal and he's looking pretty dull and dingy, but I will say those sides are pretty popping right now. And then the, the Aztec and then the Hypo. Obviously he's gonna reduce that pattern a little bit more. I actually had this girl with a couple different males. I had him in with an Inca. I had him in with a Fire alone. But because there are Aztecs, Hypos, Fires, and combinations, I know this was the guy that went. He is also 66% Parahet, which means that there's a 66% chance that he is either a Het Sharp or a Het Boa Woman Caramel, and or there's a 66% chance he is 100% Het Sharp or Boa Woman Caramel, but I don't know. So these babies are basically 50% Hets, or what I'll just call possible Hets, either Boa Woman Sharp, Boa Woman Caramel, or Sharp Albino. So I will shut up now. We'll flip the camera and take a look at these babies. We'll take a look at the mom and we'll see what we got. Per the usual, I would like to take a look at the ID card again. You can see I had her in with a Hypo T positive. I had her in with a Fire and this Fire High Tech or this Fire Hypo Aztec that's 66% Parahet. My writing is messy and my notes don't always make sense. But what I want to show is today's date is March 25th, she laid these babies likely last night. Her ovulation date was on 11-18, and she shed on 12-13, and again, this is March 25th. Let's take a look at mom and her babies. She is all fired up, and there's some beautiful looking babies in here. I have not counted them. I don't know what we have in terms of slugs and stillborns, but she's just an incredible looking T-positive animal. Look at the head on her. She's being a super good mom. Probably one of the only times that I've seen her be defensive. And there are babies all over the place. There's some right there that looks like a hypo Aztec. There's a really pretty, probably hypo fire Aztec in the back right there. Just gorgeous looking babies. And again, these are there's an Aztec next to her. And these are all going to be possible head sharp, possible het bow woman caramel. So with the sake of her just laying on all of her babies, I'm gonna put the camera down and look at that baby right there. What a pretty looking hypo Aztec, likely fire. Look at the high white sides on that. That's a fire for sure. Just amazing looking stuff coming out of here. So I'm gonna pull these, wash them off, and we'll take a look at what the babies look like. We have the babies all washed off now and let's take a look at what we have. So I've separated them. I think we had, I actually had one that was hiding in the bedding and we couldn't see it, but we have some beautiful 
uh, fires over here. So everything in this bin is a combination of a fire. Everything in this bin is non-fire, so it may have Hypo, Aztec. These are just some normals that have the hets in them. Really happy with the results of this litter. I mean, the white walls on these are absolutely incredible. Look at how white those sides are. Now, I did mention in the beginning of the video that all fires will have white sides. Now, to be fully fair, there are varying degrees of that. So these, you could see the father of that one was clearly an incredible white-sided animal, and he made incredible white-sided babies. This is similar to Hypo. If you have a really brilliant, beautiful Hypo, you're gonna have really brilliant, beautiful babies. And I do wanna show off a couple animals. It's gonna be hard to show this on camera, but all fires, a telltale trait, or most fires, as far as I'm aware of, will always have this uh, patch under their skin. It will always have this kind of clear patch. I don't know if you can see that, but right where my finger keeps moving from, there's a clear patch of scales. So if you're ever questioning if something is a fire, now some animals will have this, and it's just different related. Dumerl's boas will have that. But this is an Aztec fire. This is a hypo Aztec fire, just to, to give you a comparison if I do between the two. So Aztec fire, hypo Aztec fire, that's what the two will do together. This, I believe, is just a, a hypo fire, which is really incredible because I have a couple of them in here and this one is likely just a fire. So here's a hypo, let me just put a lid on here to show these off for a second, calm them down. Here's a hypo fire versus a non-hypo fire. And really what you can tell the difference is in the tail. If you look at the two tails, one of them has a lot more black into them, but two beautiful animals, there's no Aztec in these. Just, you can kind of see overall, this hypo is, at least I, I hope you can see in the camera, this hypo is a lot more colorful than the, the other one. It kind of brings up that saturation a little bit. So really, really happy with those. And what's interesting is the Aztec brought a lot of real good darkness into these babies, which from a T-positive perspective, these are gonna make incredible looking T-positive babies. So the mom, as you saw, she was also a T-positive, uh, potentially even a hypo T-positive, uh, it's a Berkline T-positive. But from that, creates really incredible looking babies. Let me do the same thing uh, from, so where, I guess where I was going with that is some of these may be super hypos, I, I don't think so, but she, just she's never, uh, she's, I bred her alone and she didn't give all hypos or really give hypos. I've never bred her to a, just a non-hypo animal, but this is a Aztec versus a hypo Aztec. And I'd like to come back to these in a week or so because the saturation is gonna change significantly on these babies. So hypo Aztec versus an Aztec, this is an Aztec here, at least I believe so. It's, it's really the tail pattern that gives it away on these Aztecs. They have these kind of chunky, blocky patterns, really something that I've been interested in over the past few years, and I, I kind of neglected to look at them for a long time. Same thing with fire. I was always fascinated by fire. A lot of people wrote fire off as somewhat of a dead end morph project, and I thought it was something that really did some special stuff when you look at it. Uh, I mean, imagine adding this, this fire to other morphs that have white in them, whether that be the Pied Project in the future or, or who knows, but this is, a, this is an Aztec fire, and you can just see how high those sides are gonna be. When this animal sheds out, it's gonna be a phenomenally incredible animal. I mean, there's gonna be no pattern on this side. It's just gonna be saturated way up. And I didn't mean to bring that as a key point of this video, but when I saw that fire, he's just increasingly, the father that I showed off, just getting so much better as he gets older. His age is really starting to make some incredible stuff in his patterning. I'm very happy with it. But as these babies are going everywhere, I really wanted to just show them off because they're just incredible looking animals. I mean, look at the tail on this. Beautiful. We're gonna take one more look at the dad before we put him away. He probably smells his babies because all of a sudden he's fired up at me. But just, I really want to show these nice white sides. Yeah, he's going after my hand. We're gonna not take one more look at the dad because he smells something going on. But look at how nice white those sides are. Beautiful, beautiful animal and he's fired up. That's pretty incredible that he knows that there's a smell of babies around and he's trying to get at them. I'm gonna put him back. So I think that was actually pretty cool. I've never seen that by taking out the mail and I just touched the babies. I literally turned the camera off 
turned it around and went to go mess with the father to bring him out to show you one more time. And he was going after me. It was kind of impressive. I've never seen that reaction from the snake before. I don't know if he knows it was his babies. I don't know if he just smelled babies and said, I'm going to eat them. Regardless, I wasn't going to get bit because he was looking pretty hungry at my hands. So I wanted to show him off one more time because I really wanted to show those nice white sides. Really what fire can do. If you throw a T positive into that, incredible and why I actually bred this more specifically is last year I bred this same mom to my hypo Aztec IMG red line and I wanted to pair those two together I thought that the babies from last year if I made some continue on babies from this year and it could make a nice merger right now at this very moment there are those babies on the website the IMGs have all sold at this point but there's a handful of those hypo red lines up there uh, I'm not making this a sales pitch, but this is what I wanted them for. If you wanted to take a look at what those babies looked like, I wanted to make it so that I could take the babies from last year, pair them with new babies from this year, and this is the project I've been working on. This is the project I've been planning in my head for like five or six years now. It's finally coming to life. It's finally coming, so I have babies. I have litters from litters, and it's just, that's what I am trying to do. That's what keeps me passionate about this, is caring for these animals, they're incredible. And then also kind of building what is the next generation going to look like? What are the next generation of babies going to look like? Just continuing to build these incredible animals through these awesome projects. It's like, that's what keeps me going. So with that said, guys, I hope you enjoy this. Shout out to all my patrons. You guys are really pushing me hard and giving me the motivation to continue making these videos. If you want to support the channel, go check that out. Otherwise, please drop a comment, a like, hit those bell notifications. The more you guys comment, like, share in this video, the more it helps me and my channel grow. The more it grows, the more videos and content I can produce for you. So I appreciate everybody watching. Until next video, let's talk then. Thanks, guys. Keep it moving.